Colin, a busy Easter at age grade, seven matches at under 18 and under 19, won three, lost four, but what did we learn? I think um, when we take it into context, it was never about the results, it was about the performance. So what we learned is how our players can handle international rugby against our competitors at various levels, um, their individual skills, how to perform it in the unit, and indeed how to perform um, in the collective um, under that pressure. A festival format of five nations in Wales and a, and a tri-nations here held in Ashburn, did that format work? Yeah, it, 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 was, um, it was a real good spectacle, I suppose, for the neutral, but for, for us, um, it afforded us and all the countries the opportunity to really challenge our players, stretch our players, and um, play positive rugby and uh, really challenge our players. And as I alluded to earlier, um, that, gave, that, that has given us real insight to where we sit in, in terms of our competitors, um, identifying players, how they handle that pressure, and even the structures and the processes that, that we've gone through. Um, are, are, are they reflective and meeting the demands that we're exposing our players to? And, and in that context, I mean, did you see development in, within the squads over the, the, the matches? Yeah, it's fair to say that uh, I think the first game for each of the sides uh, was a bit of an eye-opener, um, just getting up to that level of intensity, uh, the level of competition that, uh, and the pressure that they were in. But um, I think from our, from our point of view, um, our players showed massive growth. Um, and it's a credit to our players, it's a credit to the coaches that were involved that uh, um, the curve was in the right direction over, over, the, over the course of the, the festivals. And then we had an under-19s, two fixtures, uh, how did those go? Yeah, again, um, our first fixture against France and, and uh, um, first time for a lot of players playing in an international jersey. They were big, strong, competitive, uh, played old-style French sort of rugby, um, abrasive with a lot of skill. Um, I think we got caught cold in the first game, to be fair, but um, we performed really, really well um, to, come, to come good in the second game. And uh, in fairness, again, to the players, the growth they showed was massive. I think it also um, allowed us to have a real good look at our future players for next year's under-20s. And uh, we, we, we now have a really good idea um, of even individual player performance plans and um, what needs to happen between now and you know, eight months' time when they're playing in the Six Nations for them to be, you know, um, better skilled and more equipped for this level of competition. And overall, from the Easter period and from those seven matches, what did we learn about the structure? I think we learned that uh, the festival is a really good format um, for assessing and evaluating performance. It gives us a good checkpoint in our pathway um, to see where we are um, and, and what work we have to do going forward. Um, and. Uh, I, it also allows us to see what our competitors are doing and uh, it's fair to say that uh, every nation is evolving and continue to evolve. They're all striving to be better and uh, it, just, it ensures that we're on that journey as well. Colin, thanks very much.